Hi everyone, I'm Doug, and today we'll be talking about using a Brix refractometer to test the sugar content of your maple syrup. Whether you're measuring maple sap or syrup, it's important to take care of your Brix refractometer throughout the entire maple season to get the most accurate results. For this, you'll need to keep some simple materials on hand. Plastic spoons or pipettes. These are helpful for adding or removing samples. Metal spoons can scratch the refractometer prism. A squeeze bottle for DI water, a waste container, and a microfiber cloth. You shouldn't wipe your refractometer prism with paper towels, tissues, or napkins. These can scratch the prism. Using a microfiber cloth is best. Before analyzing your samples, first calibrate your Brix refractometer with your DI water. Deionized water can be found at your local store or pharmacy. Be sure to fill your sample well to completely cover the prism glass. Cover the well with your hand to prevent any stray light and press zero to complete your calibration. Now we're calibrated. First, we'll measure our syrup standard. When measuring, it's best practice to make sure your syrup sample has cooled down. Even though the refractometer has automatic temperature compensation, you want to make sure not only that the sample temperature is within the range of the refractometer, but that it is stabilized. This is necessary for an accurate measurement. So, fill your sample well, cover with your hand, and press read. Once you get your reading, clean the glass prism by removing your sample with a pipette, then rinse with DI water, and finally dry with your microfiber cloth. Next, we'll measure our sap standard. It's best to take your sap measurements inside where it isn't cold, but if you are measuring outside, be sure that your device is level and your sample is at a stable temperature. Completely fill the well with sample and press read. Cover the well with your hand to prevent any stray light. When finished, to make rinsing easier, put some DI water on the sample and dry with your microfiber cloth. That's how easy it is to measure with and care for your maple syrup bricks refractometer. Keep your refractometer stored in a dry place. The sugar house will get cold in the winter, so unless you have an RO room, you should store it elsewhere. So that's it. Hannah makes using a refractometer to test your maple samples easy. From measurement to cleanup, we want to save you as much time as possible. To learn more about our refractometer and other maple products, visit us at hannahinscom maple. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and Instagram, and subscribe to the channel for updates on products and services.